Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do an unboxing of Barbara Moore and Micah Jansen's deck, The Wizards. I don't know if I pronounced that name right. Okay, let's get this open. I even pre-slit the plastic so I could get just rip it off. Comes with a nice sturdy box. And this is a nice magnetic flip. See, you can see the magnets right there. Gotta get the light to flash on this one so you can see it. There you can see it, kind of see it a little bit. There. Oh, this is what the back of the cards look like. That's the book. Have a nice ribbon. Help start getting them out. Oh. We have a wand in here. The, that's cool. Okay, we gotta get this one open. We'll take a look at the book after I get the plastic off this. Look at the little doggy, he's so cute. It's like, don't fall, make wise choices. The Wizard's Companion. Very nice book, it's glossy. Oh, and color. Is there contents? Okay. Oh, here's the art author, Barbara Moore. And this is the artist, Micah Jansen. I'm just guessing it's Micah. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. Here's the contents. One, tarot and, and wizards. Two, reading the cards. Three, major arcana. Four minor arcana, five the court cards, six spreads, seven the magical path, two eleven. Let's see the spreads. Oh, take a few looks at pictures on the way. How gorgeous. Strength. She's taming a dragon, not a lion. She's going all the way. Oh, I like that picture. I think I like them all. Yes, even with the swords in the back. You can pause it if you want to read that. Your best self. So this is the magic spread over here. Give you a nice look so you can pause and read it. And just go, mmm, I like that. I'm gonna go buy this, or not. Okay, there. Try to make sure I pause get everything so you can read. A magical path. Can be used just like any other tarot deck. Wizards aspects do not negate or override traditional tarot meanings. In this chapter we look more closely at some of the symbols used in the cards and some of the wisdom they hope to share. For many tarot readers here is where the awesome potential of the tarot is found. The real power of the tarot is not telling the future, but telling you who you are, because you are will determine your fate, future. You, this one is exactly like you read it, traditional tarot, the Bohemian Gothic that I have a mini one right there. 
that one, I got the book and it said, you read it upright as the reverse. So when you reverse it, it's the upright meanings because it's a shadow deck. So here's the book. Now let's look at the cards. Try, sorry, five minutes, I'll try to go kind of fast. The Fool, Starting the Journey, The Magician, Manifesting. Ooh, I love that. She looks gorgeous in that dress, The High Priestess. Very traditional, the columns. Oh, beautiful coloring and the stars behind her. The Empress. Very beautiful, very nurturing. She's got a kitty. Oh. Emperor. See that chair at the top of it right here. If I could get it in focus. Oh, I had it for a sit there. It is a dragon's head with two more dragon's head coming up up the sides. There we go. I just have to be still for you to see it. The Hierophant. I think he's got stars on his cloak. Why am I having a hard time with focusing? do not have a clue why I'm having such a hard time. Let's try a different card. Oh, beautiful. Lovers. That's a pentacle above them. Very beautiful. Fire and earth looks like. I don't see a snake or an angel. Oh, chariot, how gorgeous. Instead of horses, he's got dragons pulling his chariot. Awesome. Strength, there she is with her dragon. She's like, be cool. Everything's all right. The hermit. He's got a pentacle in his uh, lantern. The moon is full. Very gorgeous. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. That is very beautiful. I love all those stars and the swirling lights. Justice with the scales and the two swords. Oh, it's a sword and a wand. Hanged man. He can see really well from that angle. He's getting a new perspective. Check out his wings. They're made of fire. And they're not scared of it. Death, ah, I should have known. It was right after the hangman. I guess it is like 4.35 in the morning now here in Ohio. Transformation, a temperance, balance. Balancing the one liquid for this one. Kind of looks like fire, but it's not fire. Gorgeous dress. Yes, I like the dresses. I love the colors used in this deck. This is a gorgeous deck. The devil. They don't even need to put the handcuffs on them because you know they're just self-imposed, imprisoned with their addictions and their 
you know, whatever we keep ourselves bonded in bondage with, the tower, chaos, upheaval, ooh, the star, one foot in the water, on the water, or in one on land, gorgeous. Kind of look pink, but it looks also like a blue heron. The shape, the moon. We got the dog and we got the wolf. And we got a big crab monster from Stranger Things right there. Totally looks like Stranger Things. Yeah, I saw this on a, this card I remember seeing on Modern Mystic Man. I'm like, that looks like the Stranger Things creature. He's like, it does. So cool. Ooh, the sun. Oh, she's just feeling good. So is the horse. That's beautiful. I'd have to say all the artwork in this deck is beautiful. The coffins are beautiful. All these little, like, fireflies. Just all the magical lights and the judgment. Gorgeous. This is perfect for the judgment. And the angel is the owl. Judge, come resurrect them. A lot of Christian symbol, like, symbology in this stuff. I know there's a lot of uh, Torah in here too and astrology. Ooh, the world. Is that a salamander? Ooh. Not quite a fairy, no. I don't know what what is he? Elf? He's so tiny. Ace of Wands. Oh, all the aces together. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. The Ace of Swords. I love the blue and the greens together. A little flying creature there. Ace of Pentacles. I have one like this my mom gave me. It's a little wood thing with a pinnacle and the little crystals. Two of Wands. Okay, we do all the twos, I guess, and threes together and two cups starting their new partnership or romance. Two swords. We got the covered uh, eyes, but she doesn't have her arms crossed. She looks like she's actively thinking. She's uh, trying to get out of that indecision. Two pentacles, balancing her time, her money, or juggling. But she looks like she's got under control. Three of wands. He looks like he's waiting impatiently for his ships to start coming in. See the growth of his business. Ooh, those girls are socializing. They're having a little party. Three of Swords. This is pretty uh, good for the Three of Swords. Looks like we pierced the heart of this statue. We've got papers flying everywhere. we got lightning going off in the window or behind the window. You know, looking out it in the outside. See the wind blowing that curtain in. Oh. Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. They were they're collaborating on magic. Four of Wands. That was in the book. This picture. Home, celebration. It's just a different view. This kind of reminds me of Superman, you know, when, when they're in that clear box and being sent to that other world, the criminals. Four of Cups. He's trying to ground himself. Four of Swords, rest, recuperation. Oh takes him so long to go through 
She goes faster. Four of Pentacles. Budgeting. Saving. Don't hoard. Five of Wands. Conflict and tension. Five of Cups. Where is the standing cups? I see three. Okay, there they are. Look, they're high. They're sitting in the tree. They made shelves in the tree for the two cups standing up. And there's a clock in the tree, too. How cool. This is a gorgeous deck. They did an awesome job. Amazing. Five of Swords. He's got one tied up. It looks like he's got killed her or she's just knocked out. He's got three of the Swords. Probably other people laying around, too. Or ran off. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. This is gorgeous. I love snowy scenes. She's just passing by this house and not looking for help. You know, she should just knock at the door and say, I need some help, please. She's only isolated because she's made herself that way. She's not looking for help when there's people around that would help. Six of Wands. <laughs> I like this head there. This is a great symbol of victory. This floating head in the, the mad magical sphere. Awesome. Six of cups. Nostalgia. She's handing him that cup. She's having good memories. Happy memories. Six of swords. We're not in a boat now. We're on a motorcycle with a sidecar. And he is taking them to a smoother place for them to live instead of all the chaos they've been going through. Six of Pentacles, sharing of wealth. Seven of Wands, maintaining his position. Seven of Cups, make the choices. Don't let the world do it for you. Because not choosing is a choice. Seven of Swords. He's sneaking off with all these books. He thinks he can protect them better than someone else. Than the library. Seven of Pentacles. She is sitting there. She has planted her seeds. And she is sitting there waiting for the harvest to come in. On this case, the chemicals to do whatever they're doing. Eight of Wands. This is a fast moving card. Hop on a wand and go somewhere. Get a decision. Eight of Cups. He is mastering his skill. He looks like he's already, he's mastered his skill and he's going now to the Nine of Cups. No, not Nine of Pentacles. That's where he looks like he's going to. The Nine of Pentacles. He's worked hard. He's saved. He can enjoy some luxury. Eight of Swords. Okay, you look like you're bound up pretty tight, but you're not. Just calm down, use your mind, and you will get yourself out of that. Eight of Pentacles. My brain is going on a blank. I was thinking of this Eight of... Here is the Mastery. Why can't I remember Eight of Cups at the moment? Oh, I hate that when my brain's not working. Nine of Wands. He is still standing. He's got these people behind him. But he looks like he's not sweating. He's very secure in his position. He's done. He's battled. He's won. Nine of Cups. He's very content. He's got all those cups floating above his head. He's got his tea there. He's happy. Nightmares. She's seriously having nightmares. She's elevating above those swords. Hoping she doesn't fall on them. Oh. There's the cover card. There's the cover. Is the Nine of Pentacles. Here's the luxury card. Where's the bird? I'm not seeing it. We got a butterfly. Maybe the butterfly's standing in for the bird. Ten of Wands. 
I love his crown of antlers that he's put crystals on and they're lighting up. But it looks like it's saying it's too heavy. Take it off. Take some of it off. You shouldn't be working so hard. Ten of Cups. Happy family. We've got the children. we got the married couple, the parents, and their beautiful home. we got the rainbow. Gorgeous. Ten of Swords. You've been stabbed in the back. You're betrayed. It is the end of whatever has caused this. Move on. Ten of Pentacles. Family, money, retirement, inheritance. In this, we got many generations. I just don't see a pet. We got the happy couple, the child, the grandparent. The home is represented by this tree, I'm guessing. It's like they're climbing into the tree house. And look, they got, instead of fairy lights, they got actually like lightning bugs or fairies lighting up the tree and everything for them. It's a magical world. Page of Wands. He's very excited and ready to start his creation. Page, okay, that's right, I forget. Page, all the things are together in the numbers, suits. Page of Cups. She's got a message of love. She's bringing out a love letter. He looks very sinister. I know the swords are on the darker side, but just his face. I don't trust that face. Page of Pentacles. She looks excited and ready to start her new magical career. Ah, the Knights. Knight of Wands. A redhead. She's exciting, excited and running into everything. Like the, the Knight of Swords, he's, or she is always running so fast. She's like the fastest one. And the Page of Pentacles is always still and thinking. Do I see the Pentacles already? Oh, there, there's the Pentacles. That one thinks things through. Which I love about the earth signs. I am an earth sign. I'm Virgo. But I need people around who think things through. Because I'm kind of like rush in. My husband's a Taurus. He's perfect for me. Queen of Wands. We've got the flower. The sunflower. Oh, here's the black kitty. Oh. Beautiful cards and dresses. Ooh, I love this. The water looks so cool. The Queen of Cups. Her heart is full. She doesn't have to worry about spilling some of the emotion out of that cup. Queen of Swords. Clear, quick thinker. She's got a familiar, an owl. Dragon's heads on her throne. Queen of Pentacles, just gorgeous. She can handle everything. She can bring home, she can make the money, bring it home and fry it up. Or she brings home the bacon and fries it up in the pan. That was the commercial. Knight of Wands. The King of Wands. Man, my brain is not working this morning. Ooh, red roses on this side. He's an artist. He just thinks up the most amazing things. King of Cups. He will listen to you. Give you good advice or help you find it yourself. King of Swords. Smart guy. He can help you with your geometry homework. King of Pentacles. This is the dad you want. He'll buy you a new car when you turn 16. He runs, 
He's Bill Gates. He's he's every guy that's in power. A woman, woman, women do that too now. Heck, my cousin Roya, she's a lawyer. I think that's so cool. Let's give these a little shuffle. Let's see how they shuffle. Oh, wonderfully. I don't know how to do that. I know how to do the, you know, this basic shuffle. But you know when they bridge it, they do this. And then they do this somehow, you know, where they make it a bridge. I would like to learn how to do that. I think that's so cool looking. Even my hands are not awake this morning. Let's pick a card. Just someone calls me. And we take a little look. Oh, the world. We got the world. Completing a cycle. Enjoy it. Look at this little beautiful fairy up here. She's got a hummingbird, it looks like there. We got the little guy here, the salamander. Oh, these are the, for the corners, but they're in here with her. Let's find the world. Ah, my page was sticking on me. Okay, we got the keywords, completion, success, perfection, achievement, accomplishment, victory, reward, unity, wholeness, fulfillment, endings and beginnings, celebration, center of attention, travel, the reverse, delays, hesitation, false start, stagnant, stagnation, rut, incomplete, work, lack of closure, meaning, life is full of beginnings and endings, some happy, some sad. You have reached an ending that is really great achievement, a goal that you Set for yourself is now a reality. The journey was long and not always easy, but now that you have completed it, you know that it was worth it. You have changed fundamentally ways in fundamental ways, ways that will shape a person you will become. The lessons learned, the skills acquired, the tools gathered will help you in your next grand adventure. Advice. After putting so much time and energy into a long-term project, it may feel strange to be done with it. You might not know what to do with yourself. There will be a temptation to jump into the next big thing right away. Try to resist the temptation. Just enjoy your victory, which is a symbolized by the laurel wreath. Usually I see the laurel wreath and a crown on their head, but this is the whole, a big one. Let your passion settle down. Find a natural resting rhythm like a red ribbon. In fact, let all your energy rest and find balance. Just as a sylph, nymph, salamander, and gnome represent... Okay, it was a gnome. And I didn't know that it was a nymph and a... Oh, I knew that was a salamander. Represented by elemental energy, finding a place on the circle. Once you've allowed yourself enough time to celebrate and recover, look around... Assess your options and take the first step towards your next adventure. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy working very much with this book, with this deck. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at the card again. And have a great day. And subscribe to my channel if you liked it. And give a thumbs up. Thank you, everybody. Bye.